A conference of abortion opponents in Wichita isn't going unnoticed. Members of the Pro-Life Action Network have gathered for a two-day convention. The group is using a recent abortion in a law in Louisiana as ammunition to stop abortions in Kansas. But as News Channel 3's Kai Jackson explains, a local pro-choice group says it's prepared to do battle as well. It's an issue that has divided a nation. On one hand, a woman's right to decide. On the other, the rights of the unborn. After endless debate, abortion activists and opponents are no closer to middle ground. And the Pro-Life Action Network has labeled this clinic as headquarters for late-term abortions. We are determined to stop abortion in this country, and next year we'll be somewhere else. But you're going to have a lot of visitors in Wichita this summer. Friday, 8-2, approximately 8-19 a.m., Dr. Tiller's attempt to enter the clinic. Gate is blocked. The protesters have been informed that they should move and disperse and are not doing so. Chief Stone. Chief Stone, why Chief Stone? What else can you say? Well, you have your phone there, don't you? You don't need that on the page. Oh, we're in a prayer room. Do they have a problem identifying the rebel rousers inside? No, they, they know it. Up? No. If they move, if they move, and they don't arrest these guys, there's going to be... Scores of men and women are behind bars after being arrested. Today's demonstrations are climaxing an annual pro-life national convention in Wichita. But as Bryce Madison reports, the arrests are expected to continue throughout the summer. We're petitioning God, We're petitioning God to change the hearts of the people of this country and the, and the man that runs this place. You'll never forget this day. Let us help you. Your baby loves you, Mom. Wichita police used two city buses and a rental truck to haul the pro-life rescuers to jail. Those who walked went to the city for a trial date. Those who had to be carried, like this former Las Vegas police officer, went to the county to be booked. Even a slow-stepping priest was arrested, as were praying women clutching pictures of dead fetuses. We're just trying to save babies. But you're going to be arrested, you know that? Yes. It doesn't I'd, bother you? I'd rather not talk. God bless you. 
moments later, she was carried off too by tired and hot officers. Some bystanders had problems understanding what was taking place. Uh, they go to jail and then some, I don't know how, but um, just babies get saved. In Kansas, and a federal judge's threat to take action against anti-abortion groups. Scott Pelley is covering in Wichita. After four weeks of chaos outside Wichita abortion clinics, a federal judge today vowed to restore order and launched a blistering attack against Operation Rescue, the radical anti-abortion group. Judge Patrick Kelly, visibly angry on the bench, called the leaders of Operation Rescue hypocrites and promised to see them all in jail if the clinic blockades continued. The judge told Operation Rescue leader Randall Terry that the U.S. Justice Department has agreed to provide all the federal marshals necessary to enforce his order. They should say farewell to their family and bring their toothbrush, and I mean it, because they're going to jail. The judge said his anger erupted after seeing the blockades continue today in violation of his previous order. This is the fourth week of the siege of the clinics, with about 2,000 protesters hauled away so far. Operation Rescue is attempting to close the city's three abortion clinics using intimidation at the door. There is such enormous brutality uh, psychologically and emotionally uh, that these... Uh, these people inflict on patients. Operation Rescue has targeted Wichita with virtually all of its resources, hoping to establish an anti-abortion beachhead in the heartland. Don't let them hurt your baby! We have car keys here for a red Chevy What Beretta. Does anybody have missing your car keys for a red Chevy Beretta parked on the road here? Red Chevy Beretta? No opportunity uh -oh. to leave the street. Once yeah. you're on the street at that time, we'll be arrested for loitering. There will be no opportunity to leave uh -huh. the street. Hello. 30 seconds from now to leave the street. You have 15 seconds to leave this location. Five seconds to leave yeah. this location. Oh. You are now under arrest for loitering. You will not be able to leave this location without being under arrest. You are under arrest at this time. Officers, you can't arrest you. The charge will be loitering. Hey, man, we got it. Some guy going down looking for some flesh. What we'll need to do, officer, if we get him into custody, yeah. is we'll move over to the side here so we yeah. move amongst the bus and we'll get the bus down here. Move them over all over the side. We'll move them over to the side by the trailer over on the east side.
Reaction to the protest and all of the national publicity it's bringing, Wichita, is really mixed. Whether the attention is good or bad really seems to depend on your point of view about abortion itself. Mike Taylor, Cake News. The Operation Rescue protest is now in its 23rd day. There have been no arrests at the abortion clinics since Monday. Many say Operation Rescue's activities are putting Wichita in a bad light across the nation. An exclusive poll by Cake TV and the Wichita Eagle shows those polled agree. When asked what impact Operation Rescue has had on our community, 10.5% say it's improved, 51.9% say it's damaged Wichita's image, and 37.5% say it's made no difference. When asked about Operation Rescue's tactics, respondents overwhelmingly disapproved by 60.5%. Those polled were also asked whether they agree with Kansas' current practice of letting women make their own choices about abortion. 69.3% say yes, 30.7% say no. And finally, the question of whether Operation Rescue has changed local views on abortion. 77.3% say no, 22.7% say yes, they have rethought their positions. And of those, 7.6% say they're now in favor of abortion restrictions. 15.1% say they are now in favor of abortion rights. 483 people were polled on their opinions. The margin of error is plus or minus 4%.